Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and today I want to show you how you can trade derivatives or futures on the cryptocurrency exchange MAX. MAX is actually quite popular right now and the main reason being that um, it has the most derivatives contracts. So if you look at the top cryptocurrency derivatives or future exchanges here on coinmarketcap.com, you can actually see that um, most of them have around like 200 um, coins, some less, some more um, that they are trading. And here on Max, you can see they actually have 461 markets, which is um, the most markets here under the top cryptocurrency exchanges. And they also have a daily trading volume of around 7 billion US dollar, which is quite a lot. And you can actually see they also have the cheapest fees and um, they have a maker fee that is zero percent and a taker fee that is 0.01 percent i will talk about that in a second if you don't have a max account yet i put a link down in the description that you can use to sign up and if you use that link and um, you can take part in special promotions that they do so for example you get some extra usdt if you if you deposit some money and so on once you have an account, um, the first thing you need to do is you need to deposit some money into your account. And I did a separate video about that, but um, it's basically here under wallets and then you can click on deposit and then you can deposit basically every cryptocurrency that is traded on Max. And if you only have like real currency, like euros, for example, or British pounds, and you can use the buy crypto button here and then you can select a global bank transfer or debit card. And then you can basically purchase with your um, credit card or via bank transfer um, USDT. Um, however, that's the way that's a bit more expensive. So via debit card, you are paying roughly 3% if you calculate it with the exchange rate and with global bank transfer, you are paying around 1%. So it's actually cheaper to buy it somewhere else like on Binance or Coinbase and then send um, some cryptocurrencies over to Max. And obviously you can also withdraw them anytime. So let's talk about futures trading. And um, there are actually several wallets on Max and um, there's a spot wallet and a futures wallet. And if you want to trade futures, you actually need some money in your futures wallet. If you want to take trade spot, you need money in your spot wallet. The main difference being if you trade spot um, and you buy something via spot and it basically means the cryptocurrency belongs to you then. So you can withdraw the cryptocurrency and you can stake it and so on. It's actually a cryptocurrency that you own. If you trade futures, you are not really buying the cryptocurrency. You are just trading contracts on the price of a certain cryptocurrency. And there are several advantages with um, futures. So you can use leverage. Um, Max actually offers leverage up to 200x and you can also short cryptocurrencies. So if you think um, a certain cryptocurrency will go down in value and you can actually short it with futures, that um, is something you can't do with spot. So and if you want to trade futures, you need to transfer some money into your spot wallet. And here on Max, you can basically transfer the money between these three wallets um, anytime you want. You don't pay anything for that and it's basically instant. So you don't have to wait until it arrives. So I already have some money here in my futures account, so I'm fine. There's also one big advantage when it comes to several wallets here. Um, you can basically only lose um, the money that is in your futures account if you get liquidated while trading futures. So um, especially if you are starting out, it makes sense to just put a small amount into your futures wallet and then you can learn everything and then you inc can increase the size um, later. So let's have a look at futures. We are basically trading USDT futures um, here in that video. However, um, just to mention it, there's also coin margin futures. Um, they are not as popular as the USDT futures and coin margin futures basically means you don't need USDT and you could trade um, with Bitcoin, for example. So you can deposit Bitcoin as a collateral and then you can basically trade with that collateral. Um, however, most people basically use USDT, so they 
deposit some USDT and trade with it. So let's have a look. Um, if you trade spot or futures, it basically looks um, very similar. However, here you can see we have a perpetual contract. That basically means the contract um, will run forever. And then we have the price chart here. Here one candle is one hour right now, uh, one day, and now it's one hour. So you can basically change it anytime you want. And then you have the order book in red, all the sell orders and then green all the buy orders and then you can basically select your leverage here and you can select a separate leverage for longing a cryptocurrency or for shorting a cryptocurrency and we will get to that in a minute however with bitcoin you can select up to 200x at 200x basically means if you have 1000 usdt in your account like i do right now and with 200x leverage, I could basically trade a position that is worth 200,000 um, USDT. However, I would get liquidated if the price moves 0.5% against me. And if I would use uh, 10x leverage, I would basically get liquidated if the price uh, moves 10% against me. And with 100x leverage, I would get liquidated if the price moves 1% um, against me and so on. So I would always recommend using a leverage of one uh, of two or three. And you can even use one X leverage, it's also fine. And with one X you can't really get liquidated. However, um, let's say we are using two X leverage. And then you can also select if you want to use isolated or cross. Um, isolated basically means you can only lose the money that is in that position. So let's say you open up a position and you put in some collateral uh, like 500 USDT and you get liquidated, you would lose um, 500 USDT. However, with cross, um, he would before you get liquidated, um, the account would basically look into your futures wallet and if there's still some money left, um, it wouldn't liquidate you. It would um, take the money from a different position and uh, make sure you don't get liquidated. However, if you get liquidated with cross, it basically means your futures wallet is at zero. Um, so you have to be really careful here. It, especially if you start out, it makes sense to use isolated. So let's confirm that. And then you can basically do a market or limit order. A market order is fairly straightforward. You just say, okay, you want to invest half of the money in um, Bitcoin. You can obviously change the trading pair here, um, for example, to Aptos, BNB, and so on. And then you just click, oh no, market order here. Um, half the price and then you just click open long and it would open a position with 2x leverage and um, yeah that's it it would open the position immediately um, you can also short here so if you think the price will go down you can open a short here it's basically the same you click open short and it would open a short position um, immediately with the best price available and with the limit order, it's a bit different. There you can say, okay, you want to invest half of your money. If the price of Bitcoin, for example, goes down to 50,000, so just that to 50,000 USDT, then you click open long, and then you can, oh no, you can't, just a second. Here, you can see um, there's a position here open long at 50,000, so if the price drops to that level, it will basically open up that position. And you can see that position also under open orders. However, I can cancel it anytime, otherwise it would stay there forever. And with the short, it's basically the same. You can say, okay, you want to short if Bitcoin goes to 60,000, you want to invest half of your money, click open short. And here you can see it will basically open up a short once the price reaches that level. And we can also cancel that. So let's open a position for real. Just do a small one, open a long position. 
it's a market order now so we get filled immediately and then you can see um, we have a BTC USDT perpetual here and we have our position size and we have our average entry price and we basically have a liquidation price here so since we have a 2x leverage we basically get liquidated if the price um, drops by roughly 50 percent so you have to keep that in mind and then you have um, something that is called realized pnl and unrealized pnl realized pnl is basically what you paid for opening up the position and the funding that you are paying we will talk about funding in a second and unrealized um, pnl is basically what you would get if you close the position right now that can be positive or negative right now i'm still negative because i just opened it however it will probably turn hopefully turn positive at one point and you can obviously close that position anytime i have a long position now as you can see here so i think the price will go up however if you look at the funding rate and funding rate is currently positive that basically means more people are long than short and that means and um, we have to pay funding every eight hours there's a countdown here so it's roughly six hours left and then we have to pay that amount and if we would be short right now we would basically get that amount here so that percentage amount um, it's fairly low however if you have a position open for like several weeks or months um, it can really add up and funding can also be negative that means more people are short than long and if funding is negative you basically get the funding if you are long like we are right now however right now it's positive so we would pay the funding every eight hours and it can obviously change um, every eight hours so it can be different every eight hours so that's basically it and you can obviously close the position as um, a market order or a limit order if we would enter a price here um, let's say 60,000 and when we can say okay 100% then we can close the long as a limit order or we say um, flash close that's basically a market order that closes the order immediately so that's basically it in terms of futures trading um, that's basically the most important thing you need to know at the beginning if you have any questions about it please feel free to use the comments down below if you find that video helpful please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching